Yesterday, Rishi Sunak unveiled his summer statement full of pledges to help the UK bounce back from coronavirus. But what's it mean for business owners? My name is John Davis, and I'm going to explain in this short video. Now, there are announcements about cuts in stamp duty and also investment in infrastructure and green homes. But I'm going to focus on two key areas for business owners, the impact on employers and the impact on the hospitality sector. So let's start with employers and prospective employers. A large plan for jobs package was announced that could be worth up to £30 billion. Now, the first part of this was the job retention bonus. Now, this ties into the coronavirus job retention scheme, better known to everyone basically as the furlough scheme. Now, the furlough scheme is due to end on the 31st of October. So far, over 9 million people are on the scheme and it's cost the government so far over £27 billion. Now, people are aware that it does have to end, but of course, the end of the furlough scheme could bring a host of redundancies. So yesterday, the Chancellor announced there will be a job retention bonus to all businesses who do genuinely use it as a retention scheme, not a delaying scheme. So what it means is if you have a member of staff who has been furloughed, but you bring them back and they still work for you on 31st of January 2021, you'll be paid a £1,000 job retention bonus for each employee. Now, the full details are going to be released released later in the month, but HMRC makes it clear that the staff member does have to be brought back at kind of a decent level, it must be paid at least an average wage of £520 per month between November and January, i.e. the end of the furlough and the date at which um, you kind of get the bonus. And at the moment, it does appear to be anyone who's been furloughed will be eligible, even if they're already back. Now, the second bit is the kickstart scheme. There'll be a two billion pound kickstart scheme to help create more jobs for young people. Um, what the scheme will do is it will fully fund six month work placements for people aged 16 to 24 who are on universal credit. The scheme will cover up to 25 hours per week at national minimum wage, plus the associated national insurance and pension contributions for the employer. As an example, the scheme would pay up to £5,330 of the gross wage for 21-year-olds over 26 weeks. It's then up to you as an employer whether you want to top this up, either to top up the hourly rate above national minimum wage or to, you, or to pay for more than 25 hours. The second scheme is actually due with apprentices. Between the 1st of August this year and 31st of January next year, there'll be an additional payment to employers who take on apprentices. This will be £2,000 if the apprentice is under 25 and £1,500 if they're over 25. And this is on top of any existing grants available. Um, so at the moment, if you've taken an, um, an apprentice at age 16 to 18, you can get £1,000 already. So this would increase that to up to £3,000. What you can't do, though, is combine this um, grant with the Kickstart scheme. It's, it's, it's one or the other. Okay. So those are the main things for employers um, and also employees. Um, the other thing is about hospitality. There were two big announcements to help the hospitality and tourism sectors that have been hit kind of really hard due to coronavirus. The first one was a reduction in VAT. Um, the standard rate of VAT will be cut from 20% down to 5% in the hospitality and tourism sector. And this will cover um, basically food, non-alcoholic drinks, accommodation and admission fees. Um, and it will run from next Wednesday, which is the 15th of July, through to the 12th of January 2021. Um, and that applies to businesses that are within those sectors. Second thing is the Eat Out to Help Out scheme. So to encourage people to spend money, money in the hospitality sector, the government will be funding 50% of the cost of meals in pubs, cafes and restaurants on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays in August this year. This will cover 50% of the cost of food and non-alcoholic drinks for a sit-down meal with a maximum discount of £10 per person per meal. Um, children also get the discount, so a family of four could save £40 on each meal, um, but the discount doesn't cover takeaways or deliveries. You have to actually sit down in the restaurant. Um, There's no limit on the number of meals you can have during August if you can manage five meals um, every Monday, five meals every Tuesday, five meals every Wednesday, go for it. Um, but there's no limit on you. It's not a voucher. It will be the business that applies the discount. 
um, businesses themselves then will register for the scheme from next Monday. And um, the government has said it will refund them within five days of each claim. And it's actually going to be administered by the same department who put together the furlough scheme, which has been um, refunding businesses within six days of the claim. So, so hopefully it's in safe hands that. Now, what do I think of these measures? Well, overall, these measures have got to help businesses. Um, in terms of the furlough, there have been calls to extend the furlough scheme, but with over 9 million people furloughed now and a cost of 27 billion pounds so far, you can see that to an extent, you know, the government does have to end it at some point. Um, personally, I'd have been in favour of a sector specific extension to the scheme. Um, for example, keeping the scheme going beyond the 31st of October for hospitality, travel, um, the arts as well, areas that have been hit really hard um, and those also include venues that, that can't even open yet. Um, I think the £1,000 job retention bonus is indeed a bonus and it will be a help to many, many businesses. Um, I'm not sure though it will actually affect the thinking of any employer or whether to actually retain staff. The £1,000 won't cover the cost of an employee for the three months between 31st of October and 31st of January, while businesses who have already made the decision to bring back staff and already have, um, it looks like at the moment they'll get the bonus to the £1,000. So like I say, it is, it is a bonus and, and, and certainly no business will be turning its nose up at it. Um, I think perhaps with a potential cost of £9 billion, it might be better spent and, and, and targeted. Um, in terms of new employees, I think both the Kickstart Scheme and Apprentice Grant are, you know, a real kind of welcome incentive to boost the prospects of young people. Um, lots of young people work in the hospitality sectors, the retail sectors, and have, have lost jobs throughout this. Also, a lot of graduate jobs are being withdrawn, so these schemes will hopefully help a lot of those people affected. Um, the government estimates up to 350,000 jobs created in the Kickstart scheme alone, so hopefully that will kind of incentivise employers to take young people on. In terms of hospitality, um, the cutting the VAT rate will help. Um, as an accountant, any change in VAT rate makes me want to cry a little. Um, think of the admin side can be a nightmare um, with extra rates involved, so you, you, you could have a cafe where you're selling, say, alcohol at 20 percent, you've got other food at 5% and some zero rated as well, so it, it makes that a bit more, more tricky. So a lot of tills will have to be reprogrammed. Um, also, if I'm being picky, why choose the middle of a month to start it and also end it? Um, it might be easier for people in the VAT returns if it, it started on, say, the 1st of August to the 31st of January, rather than going mid-month to mid-month. Um, also, why not include alcohol? I, I, I do understand the government don't encourage people to be drinking, um, but I can fully see a number of businesses coming up with um, offers such as um, five pounds for a packet of crisps and you get a free pint um, to basically reduce the fat rate on that five pound pack of crisps um, while giving you a free pint. So, you know, we could have to look what comes out of that. But overall, it will provide a, a boost. It'll be interesting to see how businesses do apply it, whether they will cut their prices to attract businesses in or keep the prices the same and basically have a, a kind of a larger margin to protect them while they're operating they can some capacity within, within the restaurant. Um, to, as an example of how that works, if you're selling a meal that's currently priced at £12, you pay £2 of VAT to HMRC and keep £10 yourself. With the new rate, um, you could either cut the price to £10.50 to bring more customers in, um, you would only pay 50 pence over to HMRC, leaving you with the same £10 in your pocket. The, the other option would be keep the price at £12 um, because you can't get any more customers in anyway. Um, you'd actually pay 57 pence of VAT to HMRC and have £11.43 in your pocket, so you've got kind of more, more money there. Um, last time VAT was cut in 2008, a lot of businesses did keep prices the same. Um, for the simple reason, actually, that for the hassle factor, it saved reprinting menus and price lists. Now, with single-use menus in use at the moment, um, this might not be the driver anymore. But what I'd actually expect a lot of businesses to find a middle ground where perhaps cut the price a little bit to attract people in, but not the full amount to either kind of increase the margin as well. Either way, it should help the sector recover some of those lost profits. And the eat out to help out scheme certainly can't hurt the sector. Um, how much of a boost it will actually be remains to be seen. 
if you are feeling nervous about going out and going into an environment into a restaurant will it actually entice you back in i don't know um if potentially you're furloughed at the moment and off every, every day anyway, or of course in August, a lot of people have annual leave booked and might not be able to go away. Do you just move your Saturday night meal to a Monday night meal so you don't eat out more times, you just change the, the, the date. But again, you know, it, 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 certainly, it certainly can't hurt. Um, and um, what I did read this morning that the combination of two measures will mean that we will have the cheapest Big Mac in the world. I'm not sure that was Rishi's attention, but I think that's there's two changes have got, have got to help the sector. Um, and I think uh, similarly as well, rather than actually try and pick the measures apart, I think and certainly I, I, I look at them as a boost to employers, a boost to current and prospective employees and a boost to the hospitality sector. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you have any questions at all, please do let us know and get in touch with the details below. Um, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have a lot of other videos to help you and your business with your finances, your accounts and your tax. Thanks for watching.